Before we get into the video, be sure to check out Action VFX's awesome Christmas sale, where you can get up to 40% off their high quality stock footage, and you can also claim a free gift every day until the 25th of December. So don't miss out, and click that link down below. And now, back to the video. This is how it's going so far. Stabbed an apple with a fork, and my camera's just decided to turn off, but uh, I filmed some stuff. Whoa! Well, <laughs> I feel like I owe you an explanation. Let's just go back a couple of minutes. As I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, I saw some really awesome fake product commercials. And it got me thinking, could I create something like these with a very limited budget, no advertising experience, and no fancy gear? Would it be any good? To test this, I grabbed my camera, an appetizer, and some apples, and started recording. This the current setup. I've got my camera on my camera slider here, so I can get some nice smooth shots approaching the drink. And then I've got these two LED lights set up. This one here is mainly lighting up the side of the drink, adding quite a nice cutout from the back. I'm hoping I'll be able to move this around a bit, maybe to get some highlights on the droplets of water that I'm about to spray onto the drink. There goes one of the lights. So I've just sprayed it and that has made a huge difference and it's made it look loads better. I'm now just trying to get some videos to showcase some of the selling points of the drink. So I'm currently doing some close-ups of where it says lightly sparkling, 100% apple juice, and I did a close-up shot of the top of the drink earlier on that I'm going to then smash cut in with some of the apple throwing videos that I'm going to do in a bit. A few moments later. I'm now going through stabbing apples and eventually the can that the drink was in with forks and then making them fly past the camera because I want to try and do a bit more of a visual effects composite as part of this which could be quite interesting to do so yeah this is how it's going so far. Once all of the recording was done and out the way I moved over to editing. The first thing I did was find a music track that I really liked on Artlist. If you want to check out Artlist, there's a link down in the description below, and if you use that link, then you'll get an extra two months for free on any annual plan. Then I imported all of the footage into HitFilm, and I put together a rough cut of the different shots that I liked. And this is where things started to go slightly wrong. Right, so I'm now just working on the visual effects composite, which I really want to do um, because I think it will be quite fun. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't very happy with the shot that I got of the can on the fork and so instead I'm taking a freeze frame and from a different clip and then I'm masking that out. Then I'm gonna bring all of the apple shots in and mask each of them around and rotoscope them and then see what I can do with that. I'm now just going through and animating the can uh, with some keyframes. Uh, yeah, this this is going a little bit weirdly, but <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with it and see how it goes. And I did stick with it until I watched it through and realized it looked stupid. So I ditched it. So I then decided to shoot some different scenes instead. And I'm pleased I did change my mind because the new shots looked so much better than whatever that was. So after I'd recorded these shots, I then went back on to editing. Then I went through adding sound effects. The sound effects that I used were from Artlist as well uh, because they have a huge library of sounds. So once again, there's a link down in the description below. Then it was time for the color grade. All I did for this was check a bit more vibrance in, add some contrast, increase the white by adding a little bit of a glow to the background, and adjust some of the colors here and there, but nothing too extreme. And then after a few more tweaks here and there, I arrived at the final video. And if you're enjoying this video so far, then please leave a like and subscribe. Without further ado, here it is.